beautiful friends it's Amanda here and today we're talking about the newest eyeshadow palettes from Huda Beauty these are the nude obsessions eyeshadow palettes and there are three different color options we have light medium and rich all three of these are currently available you can find them on the Huda Beauty website as well as at Sephora each one is retail priced at 29 US dollars. Today, I'm just gonna give you the rundown on all three of these palettes. We're gonna do swatches. I'm gonna give you all the details, close-ups, and hopefully help you figure out which one's right for you. This isn't something I typically do, but I am gonna do a separate video for the eyeshadow tutorials. Because I wanna show eye looks with all three palettes, I really want you to get a feel for what these palettes look like in action, and I didn't want this video to be too long. I wanted this to be more of just the details, the swatches, and helping you sort out which one or which ones you're interested in. And then we'll do a separate video with three different eye looks with the light, medium, and rich palettes. So with that being said, let's start with the light palette. A couple of things to note with these palettes, the shadows in here don't have shade names. There's nothing written inside next to the pans. There's no shade names on the back. There's none on the boxes. So as I talk about these, I'm just going to mention the shadows by number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, you get the point. You've no numbers, you've heard of those, right? You guys know numbers, I'm not going to explain counting to you, but there are no shade names here. When we take a close-up look at the palettes, they have this textured, like, snakeskin type of feel to them. This is really cool. It's definitely very different. I think it's very clever to do something that looks very simple but has this very luxe element, and it sort of makes sense as we're talking about the different depths in skin tone to have this be kind of a skin themed palette. That sounds gross, but it's not. So the palette is plastic. It does have a locking clasp closure, so it's not magnetic. When you look inside, you do have a nice size mirror in here. Of course, nine eyeshadow shades. Each one of these palettes, so light, medium, and rich, all have five matte shades and four shimmer shades. We're not getting any mattes with glitter, no pressed glitter, just straight up mattes and shimmers. I love that. I love a pretty even ratio, so I think five mattes and four shimmers is just about as perfect as you can get in a nine pan palette. The light version is the one that has the most cool tones. I do think that makes sense. At least from my perspective, a lot of my viewers who have very fair like porcelain skin tones say that many of the eyeshadow palettes that are out today, even if they do have lighter focus shades, tend to be too warm and just not flattering on their skin tones. So I think that this lavender pale pink approach to a nude palette is a really, really good idea. For all of these palette swatches, I am going to show you both finger and brush swatches just like I always do. For all of the brush swatches, I used my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I cleaned the brush off in between each shade using my Vera Mona color switch so that we didn't get any transfer between shadows. So when you take a look at these light nude palette swatches, I think you'll notice that even though there are only nine shades and this is a light focused palette, there is a pretty decent range of light, medium, and deep within this palette. You are going to be able to create an eye look with a lot of depth. You're going to be able to get a lot of different types of looks out of this palette. I'm not mad at the inclusion of some color here. I think these palettes would have fallen really flat if we didn't have these little pops of lavender and purple and other shades that you're going to see as you see the other palette swatches. So that is that on the light nude palette. Now let's talk about the medium nude palette. This is my favorite of the three. Not gonna be a surprise once you see the shades that are in here. Exact same packaging style. Getting a nice medium nude shade here on the outer packaging as well as a corresponding look on the plastic part of the packaging. Really cute, very well thought out. Taking a look inside here again. 
five mattes and four shimmers. Let's take a look at the swatches of this medium palette while I sort of give you the rundown on the shades in here. The medium palette is really warm. It's definitely got those orangey, bronzy, gold type of colors that we see really frequently in the neutral palettes that are out nowadays. Those are the type of shades that I really enjoy wearing and really like creating eye looks with. There is a little hint of rosiness, kind of a nod to purple with that very last shade. In general, this is a straight up warm neutral palette and I'm not mad at it one little bit. Oh. Lastly, we have the deepest of the palettes. This is the Nude Rich palette. I think this is my favorite of the outer packaging. This is just so luxurious and just enticing to look at. I see this outer packaging and I just want to know what's inside. The inside does not disappoint. Of course, five mattes and four shimmers in the Nude Rich palette where the nude light palette was more cool, more kind of mauve purpley, pinky, and the medium palette was very warm, orangey, kind of spicy shades. I feel that the nude rich palette pulls a lot of rosy and reddish tones. These shades are my second favorite. The Nude Rich palette is my second favorite after the Nude Medium palette. More of these shades are leaning on the warm undertone side, but there's some really nice neutral shades in here, especially that last shade. That last deep brown matte shade is so neutral. It really helps ground the other shades in this palette, and I kind of put this one in the middle undertone wise, with light being on the cool tone side of the spectrum, medium being on the warm, and rich is somewhere in between. So now you've seen all the swatches, you've gotten the rundown on the shades. How do you decide which one is right for you? As somebody who has swatched them, seen them in person, used them, I'm gonna give you my two cents as far as guidance goes, but overall I think anybody can enjoy any of these palettes. The shadow quality is phenomenal, particularly the shimmers are so, so beautiful. Just one swipe, super foily and opaque, just yummy, yummy metallic shades. At the end of the day, it's more just about your preference and not really so much your skin tone. I think the nude light palette is the most different of the three. There's a much bigger jump between nude light to nude medium than there is from nude medium to nude rich. This one is just decidedly much, much lighter. I think these two are quite a bit more similar in tone and in undertone. This is really kind of the outlier for me, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. In general, everybody's gonna be covered by at least one of these palettes, but I also love the versatility of these neutral palettes. They're not really neutral palettes because there are colors in all of them. It just depends on your style, but somebody like me, I actually enjoy using all three of these, so it really just comes down to your preference. If you're looking for cool tones, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more user-friendly in that it is hard to go overboard with these shadows and these shades, they are very light. They're buildable. Like I said, the quality is amazing. If you're cool toned or if you don't like very dramatic eyes, I would go with Nude Light. I love that there's this duochrome shade in here. This is a pink to gold duochrome. So pretty, such a fun thing to be in a nude palette. When it comes to these two, if you like one, you're probably gonna like the other one. These are a lot more similar to each other than either one of them is to the light palette. I imagine that the same customer is gonna like both of these palettes and is going to be able to use both of these palettes. It just boils down to are you looking for more of like that orangey bronze type of look? Is this rosy reddish like brick tone calling to you more? I think that these two palettes are going to look great on absolutely anybody as long as it fits your style and your comfort zone. But nude medium and nude rich are going to just look good on everybody. I know I showed you the palettes swatched individually, but I want to give you some side-by-side -side shots 
of these palettes so that you can sort of compare and contrast them and hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean. Especially with Nude Medium and Nude Rich, I think it's really helpful to see them side by side. So first, let's take a look at Nude Light and Nude Medium together. You can see there's a pretty sizable difference in the depth of the shades here. Then when we take a look at Nude Medium and Nude Rich side by side, Nude Rich does have some slightly deeper shades, but in general, at least, for me, when they're swatched on my skin, it's more of the color story that's different and not so much the depth or intensity of the shadows. Hopefully that helped you decide which one's gonna be right for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on these palettes. Are you interested in them? Are you ordering them? Have you already picked them up? I know a lot of people were just going crazy for these as soon as they launch. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you keep an eye out for the tutorials with these palettes coming soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ugh. Emma, are we recording? Can you see my highlight? All very important questions. Okay. Great start. <laughs> and I, I, 46 seconds in. Wow. Wonderful. My palettes. I mean, these could be anybody's palettes. You could just go buy one. <laughs> what? Like my pumpkins? I'm so festive. Okay. Focus. Classic. Lost my swatch brush. Oh, here it is. Ceremon colors. Ma'am, you've said that phrase a thousand times. Please get it together. Are going to be able to create, create, create an eye look. I'm going to get There's what meaning your jump. Did I turn into a snake from this packaging? What just happened? What was I gonna say? I don't know. I don't know. What? I would love to hear your... Hey, how, how, how. Mm -hmm.